وَيَقْتُلُونَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمُرُونَ بِالْقِسْطِ And they have been killing and murdering those people who wanted to enjoy and join upon them whatever is good مِنَ النَّاسِ from among the people فَبَشِّرْهُمْ بِعَذَابِ النَّلِيمِ O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم you give them the glad tidings of a very severe punishment of a very painful torment they are the people whose deeds, whose actions have gone in vain. They have been futile in this world also and in the hereafter also. Because although they were, you know, they didn't accept Muhammad but they were Jews, they were practicing Jews, they thought that we are on the right path, they used to pray. They used to act on the Sharia of uh, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. So they thought that we have a lot of good deals with us. When we go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are not going there empty headed. We have much with, with us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Muhammad tell them, all their good deeds have gone vain, futile, habit of amalu. Because if they have not accepted Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what does it mean? It means they were not sincere. Had they been sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how could have they rejected Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It proves that all their good deeds before also, they were baseless. They were not based on sincerity. And any good deed without sincerity is equal to zero in the scale of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It carries no weight. أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ حَبِطَ طَعْمَالُهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ أَلَمْ تَرَى إِلَى الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا نَسِيبًا مِنَ الْكِتَابِ يُدْعَوْنَ إِلَىٰ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ لِيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَهُمْ Didn't you see? Didn't you consider the matter of those people who were given a portion of the book? Actually all these books go to make one book, Al-Kitab. Torah and Injil were the former editions of the same book. So they were given a portion of the book. Torah and Injil, so to say, were a portion of the book. Didn't you should see towards them? To whom a portion of the book was given? When they are invited to the book of Allah. So that it can judge between them. لَيَحْكُمَ بَيْنَهُمْ سُمَّ يَتَوَلَّا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ وَهُمْ وَرِضُونَ But a party of them, some of them, they turn their backs away and they are averse to it. They don't want to get their matters and affairs judged by the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as we people, Muslims. It did happen, you know, in the Indian subcontinent during the British Raj. The Britishers had given the option to the Muslims that if they like, their property would be distributed according to the Islamic law of inheritance. Even through the courts of the Britishers. But the Muslims used to stand up in the court and say, we don't need Sharia. We know the rivaj, whatever is common with us, you know, what is our, our custom, we want our decision according to custom, we don't want Sharia at all. The same is the case here. Alam tara ilal ladhina utu nasibam minal kitab. Didn't you see towards them who were given a portion of the book? When they are invited, yud'awna ila kitab illah, towards the book of Allah. Le yahkumu bainahu, so that it should judge between them. Summa yatawalla fariqum minhum wa hum waridu. A party, some of them, they turn their backs away and they are averse to it. Zalika bainahum qalu lal tamassan al-daru illa ya mabadu daat. Why this attitude? What's the reason of this attitude? This is because they think, they say, that the fire of hell, hell cannot touch us except for a few days. That was their forged belief which made them so bold. Because if, if they were, you know, so to, so to say, they were uh, free from the punishment of the hell, then why to have Sharia and why to act according to the Sharia? If you have the fear of the day of judgment, if you have to fear, if, if you have to the fear of the lasting torment and punishment of Jahannam, then you will have to think twice before saying anything. But when they had concocted, they had invented, they had forged these beliefs 
the sovereign of the whole dominion of the whole universe total bul kaman tasha you give the dominance to whom you will watan jaul bul kaman man tasha and you take away the governance from whom you you like but to is zaman tasha you give you give honor and you exalt anybody that you like but to zil man tasha and you put to humiliation anyone who you desire be adikal khair all good is in your hand you have the authority for everything you give honor to whom you like you give superiority in this world to whom you like you give humiliation to whom you like you you give the government or superiority in some land to whom you like be adikal khair all good is in your hands in the kala kulli shay'in qadeer and you are all powerful you have power over everything